Okay. He's in the back alley. Wait, why is there a garden in the back alley? You are not one to get me together, are you? I don't get it. That's okay. There is a there is a garden in his where Pedro was sleeping in the back alley. Yes. The it's in an alley. Why why is the garden in an alley? Why is this so goddamn funny? <laughs> because there is no alley. <laughs> it's... Oh, okay. Did I miss something? Yes. <laughs> yes, your character is sleeping in a garden in a back alley in the hometown. See, I told you it was in an alley. <laughs> That's why why was he be... That's only because you're getting it so wrong. Why would he be sleeping in a garden that is in an alley? Why is there a garden in an alleyway or, what, or a, whatever it's called? Why? Because you. this is the second day that you've been awake in a row. And you failed your constitution roll. But why is there like a garden in an alleyway? Because it's just there. <laughs> but why? You don't have, you don't have herbalism. I'm just Pedro. Exactly, you don't have the herbalism, uh, known weapon, so you wouldn't know why. <laughs> well, if you need me, just call me, okay? Okay. Well, Nero's gonna stay one more day. And I guess he'll perform again. So, okay. perform six. Ooh, that's a good one. Why isn't... Oh, no, 19. Okay, that was an older roll. Well, that was a shitty performance. I guess Nero earns nothing. Axel? Axel? Reflex. Yes. Oh god damn it. Dexterity? Yep. I make it. You avoid a swift kick to the mouth just behind. What? From behind takes skill. Okay. <laughs> Get out. Okay, so Nero's gonna draw his blade and point it at whoever tried doing that. Nero takes chase. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're chasing. Yeah, as you're chasing it, you notice that it's just some kid. Nero's still chasing. <laughs> you're gonna kill that <laughs> Roll Dex to see the catch up. Uh. Posing che Dex check. Mm -hmm. 15. I'm, I passed my Dex check. By how much? 2. My deck stick is 17. You catch him. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna throw a punch at his face. Okay, you're gonna <laughs> punch a little fork in his face? <laughs> Nero is not having it right now. Nero's been in a... Uh, Axel, you should know that Nero's been in a very bad mood. Ever since he lost his deck stick. Nero... No, Axel, you, you, I've been messaging you about it. Yes, yes Come on. you have. Not, not the case. About the blank on the blank and yes. the loss of the case and the what no. the fuck is that spoiler. <laughs> okay, so. 15 to hit. That's minus, I don't know, what's tackle for your fist? Uh, base tackle. So 20, so armor class 5. This should at least be 19 by now. I'm gonna ramp down to 19. Okay, Kay. armor class 4. Mm -hmm. That is a uh, hit. 1d3 tip damage. 1d3. 3. Okay, you just punch through the face really hard where the blood goes. Okay. Just tosses him away. Size. The villagers that are following you 
leaves. Uh, I, I'm leaving town now. It's like, fuck okay. this place. <laughs> Are you grabbing Pedro? Oh, well. No, Nero doesn't even know Pedro is here. He just sent the messages out, as presumed to meet you guys at the mansion. To everyone. Okay. So Pedro would have heard that. Presumed to meet you at the mansion. So, um, I'm going to shoot. I'm not going to really change that. Yeah. Right. Nero, Nero's sick of this town. Leaves. Hates the place anyway. <laughs> this place is gay. No, well, that's not the words Nero would put. But. This place blows. is in, at a, in eloquent. All right, this place how, blows and eloquent. sucks at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great Scott. <laughs> so yeah. Uh would Nero be passing any towns on the way back to the mansion? Uh no, it's a pretty direct path that you guys control. Uh, uh, where was Oh fuck, okay. Okay. Is Pedro dead or what? Is he gonna ever head back to town? Uh, he's uh. Pedro! <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. He's probably dead. <laughs> as you walk back to town every day, as safely as you can. Or, as, or you walk back to the mansion as safely as you can. You feel like an annoyance that, once again, you weren't told the whole story of what's going to be happening there. But also glad that at least you're still alive and you can finally go back to your own bed. You make it back to the mansion. And for some reason, Pedro's there first. What? Before us? Yeah. Did he like sprint it the whole way? Or did Tetel and Annette get distracted? <laughs> None of those things happen. Magic. You just think that's odd that he's there first. Okay. I honestly don't care. I just, I'm back. What did I miss? Okay. You missed, you break the physics. <laughs> you fell asleep in the field, and then the rest is going to be PM'd to you. Or you fell asleep in a garden, and then the rest is going to be PM'd to you. Okay. Well, actually, you wake up at the mansion. Not really sure I? how you fell asleep. When yeah. I wake up at the mansion? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Not really sure how long you've been asleep. Okay, so... What if, what if I'm in the future? <laughs> no, I, I really don't think you're in the future. You have that thought to yourself and excitedly to explore around, only to have that dream crushed. Okay. So, are we going to skip time skip to tell everyone's back in the mansion? Yep. Okay. Nero will be picking up the three proficiency plans if there is enough time allotted for such things. Okay. When you get it back, the leader is waiting for you. Okay. Um, okay, Nero. So he's. We are all called to meet him. For one, as soon as you guys get back, he's just waiting at the front door this time. By the way, we're uh -huh. gonna start with a uh, Tedo and a Nat. What the hell do you were you thinking leaving Pedro there? We thought he was with Nero. I thought I was inside somewhere. He was in a back alley garden filled with hallucinogens. 
It, it was a weed garden. <laughs> oh. Step it up. Hey, it's a coffee garden. It's lucky to fill with coffee. Can I have my Pedro Bursa Caron because of the effect of the drug? Crystal. Look at Tezo and Earth. The crystal. Look at Tezo and Earth. The crystal. Look at Tezo and Earth. The crystal. Keep his indifferent gaze. So wait, where's Pedro now? I'm just lost. He's in his. He's actually exploring the mansion. Hoping that's the future. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Sounds like the Pedro we know. Okay, where's Nero? Nero should be able to take care of himself. He left <laughs> us behind in the first place. We thought he paired Joe with him, so he warned Pedro that we were heading to the mansion. We didn't tell Nero, though. We thought they were together. You guys are such so lying like bitches! <laughs> <laughs> Still lying, like all shit. How is that lying? Because you completely changed the facts. I did not change the facts. It ain't just the facts as far as I can see. You left in the tower, went back to the inn. Okay. They slept they... in the tower, then left for the... Um... They were completely lying about the Pedro thing. They knew Pedro wasn't going to go looking for me. And like, okay. We, the players, knew that. No, Pedro said... I'm not going to look for him. You look for it yourself. And Pedro wandered off. That's what Pedro said. He didn't say I was going to look for Zero. He said, you go tell Zero that. Wait, wait, wait. I'm Pedro. Yeah. Everybody shut the fuck up. I'm going to talk. Pedro did not Pedro. with Zero. Pedro just wants a half, for fuck's sake. Can anyone give him your guy a half? Jesus. No, because he's wrong. I have it on recording. You, Pedro, saying... He says, you go find it and stomps off. You go find Nero and stomped off. And then you guys leave him. He him. say, you go find Nero. He said, you go tell, you tell him. him. Still, same yeah, thing. Him, no, he never I don't know what he was he didn't say that. Pedro just wants him. That means he doesn't want... That means he does not... He does not plan to or want to go tell Nero anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Still, complete distortion of the what, what's going on. And finally, uh, that conversation ends. Oh, they had misinformation. And finally, that conversation ends with him saying, "And that comes to my office as he heads up there." Wait, what does Tedo do? As they're walking, he says, uh, Tedo, you're dismissed to go back to your room. Is there a river nearby? Yes. <laughs> God. Tedo's gonna go swimming. Okay. That is so random. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my. Okay. So. I blame the hippies. So 
guys, uh, I have a question. What's up? What the, what the hell is going on anymore? You got teleported back to the mansion. Everyone's at the mansion except Nero. You got teleported back to the mansion. Okay. Can I have Pedro wake up now? He's been awake. He's been stopping around the mansion. You said you wanted to. You thought you were in the future, so you went wandered off. That was a joke. If Pedro wakes up, then he wakes up and he's all confused. And he's okay. just. He's just looking around, being fucked. He's, being confused. he's a child. Okay. To wake up in the middle of somewhere. What do you think his reaction will be? Alright, it won't take long to realize he's in the mansion. He's and a kid, in his room. Uh, it's his own room. He won't recognize his own room. <laughs> no, he doesn't know. He doesn't know what his own room looks like? He thinks... Oh god. <laughs> okay. He, still, he thinks he's still in the future. So, yeah. Okay. So, Nero makes it back to the mansion. Mm -hmm. And one of the uh, smaller children was there waiting for him to tell him to head up to the head, to the leader's office. Okay, let me, let me just have this clear. I'm a full day behind everyone else. Yes, I know. Okay. So you're already wrapped up, wrapped up with Annette? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nero will head up. Okay. Knocks on the door. Come on. He gets in, takes a look, and begins taking off the backpack. And opens it and takes one out and tosses it onto it. I assume there's a desk. In front of Ma the big boss man. He catches it not letting it be damaged, but he looks at it and says, Good job. And I hear these things. How are these things formed? These things are formed by someone else. Hmm, hmm. I don't know where they come from. I'm sure you don't. You just have just you, you just have them in great abundance. Is what it is. All right. And what is with the screaming? The screaming from them. I don't hear them at all. Oh, whoa, 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 that's okay. I can just tell him what happened later. Okay. So Nero looks the, at the guy, at the boss man, as he's come to term him. Where's your bracelet, by the way? Didn't take it. Didn't head off. Why not? <sighs> Sending us to a death trap. He didn't touch you guys hardly. Hmm. He only messed up your clothing and your cape and made himself look threatening. My cape was real 100% silk. <laughs> if you have enough to buy one, you can get another. I had to buy two within the last two weeks. <laughs> it's silk. Maybe you should tell me when you're sending us out to a mission that is putting us at risk. You weren't at risk at all. And what of the... Uh, I presume you know the, of the... And I presume you know of the warden and all those goblins. Huh. You still around? 
Yes. Why doesn't he... On our way to the town that was being invaded by about a hundred goblins. I didn't know the town was being raided. Hmm. Well, apparently he didn't. He only cared for a moment. Lost interest, I presume as you often do. Mm hmm All right. Whatever you say, boss. Is there anything else you'd like to report? What well, you wanted to do? Really what? Don't bring your bracelet wherever you left it. No, I didn't bring it. As far as I know, it's gone. The old man pats Nero on the head and says, Good job, kid. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls out another uh he pulls out a pink bracelet and says you should seriously be wearing this <laughs> and why is that Because there is much benefit from it. Such as? Okay. I'll show you. He uh, rings a bell at the uh, little child that you had seen before. Comes up here and he says, Uh huh. I forgot to put it there. I put it somewhere in my files. There it is. Olin. Olin? Alright, like colon without the C. Gotcha. Would you go and tell Rama and Ween to go to. Is he really speaking this slow? I, I'm trying to find these names and it's not working right. I'm brain farting. <laughs> okay. He's trying to remember the names, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Does that make you happy? And uh, <sighs> one, one Ween to go out. Yeah, they're good. This just reinforces Nero's thoughts on the guy. Also, tell them to prepare themselves. Prepare? Nero raises an eyebrow. Oh, don't worry. Don't know what it means. You're not in any danger. Oh, I'll just be having blades coming at me. Well. What's that? You should also go out to the outer gate as well. They'll handle the rest. Will you be there? Or is this last time I'm seeing you? Alright. I still have more to say to you. Okay. And Nero heads out. Well, get out of the way right now. What? Say it right now. That way you we can see their demonstration. Hmm. I hear if I don't live up to your tests, our lives are nice and expendable. 
Interesting. And if Nero leaves. Up, they are. Nero leaves. If you give up, they are. Nero still leaves. Sarah says you head out the door. Nero appears. He doesn't care. He leaves. He doesn't look back. Okay. Well, he heads outside as well. And... Uh, one guy with an instrument on his back, and another with uh, that's shirtless and, hold on, what did I say his name was? Oh, his shirtless is also out there. It was Olin, Ramna, and who? One we. One we. Yep. Wasn't there a Ramna, or something with uh, an R? Yeah, Rama. All right. Uh, okay. Anyway, he uh, looks at Olin and says. Take us to the time of the Knights of the Round. And when we holds out his hand and looks like he's full, like he's really focused. And for a second, everything just looks completely strange. The uh, very air starts bending around. And then a blue portal appears in front of you. Uh, he looks at you and says, Don't touch anything and stay by my side, or you will die. And goes into the portal. Everyone else goes as well. Is was Tito and was no, and it goes to go there? No. Uh, okay. Goes in. Okay. So you go into the portal, and you see a entire army of millions of soldiers. I also see that you are standing atop a castle wall. Does it look like the castle we were at? No. Okay. It looks like the castle that you see in town. Except it's just a castle right now. Wait, what? It looks like the castle we've uh, seen in town, but it's just town. a castle now? It was just the original town, the first town. Uh huh. There was a big castle there that was home to the royal family. Mm hmm. You see that you're standing on the walls of that very castle. But there's no town there? There is no town there. Okay. Go on. You also see seven people come out from the front gate. And, ever, and then uh, the leader says, everyone stand perfectly still. And the rest of the people, you know, they just kind of clinch off. As one of the knights walks forward and literally starts to just disappear. Uh, it looks kind of like he's moving so fast that he is leaving after or an after image in that original spot that he uh, was standing. And then blood starts to splatter from the top of all their heads. It's like a fountain, practically. The leader 
his son. He's dead now, but he used to be known as the uh, Knight of Speed for the royal family. He had unlocked his ability to control his power to the utmost degree. Those bracelets are to take you through the trial in order to unlock your power. And how will we use that? I then? knew the theme of this campaign would be coming of age. <laughs> It is partially. You're yes, asking how nice. are we, and how exactly are they supposed to do this? I don't know. I've never been. So uh, we're the first. No, you're not the first. It just not never finished. As well as the, so you uh, never thought to ask how these bracelets you're giving off work. You just give it off and tell us to figure it out. Oh, I know how they work. You will be sent to certain places on the planet, and of course, these places are becoming more and more populated, but. You will be finding old temples, and you will be making your way through them. And if you don't have the bracelets on, you can't enter. Why not? It's a lot of effort to make, and I don't know. You also have to have magic ability to enter, and a extremely high magic potential. All right. By the way, Nero never put, picked up the bracelet. I know. He still has it. Okay. Nero just turns backwards. Time to go? Yes, it would be. Alright. Nero turns around and starts heading back. Presumably there's this somewhere to see. Go back. Into? Yeah, Maybe? The portal is still there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only perception. Uh, you want me to do, do this 1d100, right? Yep. Okay, 84. You notice someone in the courtyard that looks quite familiar, except they look much younger as you're leaving. The warden? You just get a sense of nostalgia from it. Alright, then the leader. Okay. Nero goes through the portal. We're okay. right back. Everyone else follows, and you're brought back to where you were when the portal shuts. Mm hmm. And what do you want us to do with these oh, crystals? Well, you know, you don't have to tell us that after you tell me that after you finish everything. Oh. It's kinda late. Missed that memo. That's because you weren't invited. No, you missed the memo that you should you should answer a question. Oh. Before it you answer it through the setting. What? I what? just asked what? Where no answer, no answer, no answer, and then he's like, here you go, and I'm like, well, fuck. Where are you guys? Dead. They're in their rooms, I assume. 
dead. It says right here, dead. <laughs> okay, Nero asks what do you want with these crystals. What do you want us to do with these crystals? By the way, I'm marking it. Oh. Investigate how? We can't exactly just go in town asking and showing everyone and asking, do you know anything about these? You dig Why me? Not? Does the boss man respond in any way? We go into Olin's house. Olin's old house before he was kicked out. The how old is how did Olin? How old did Olin look? He looks twelve. Okay. By the way, I'm marking one off since I threw it at his desk, and I didn't take it back. <clears throat> well, I okay. mean, I assume you put down the bag. I see the bag no, he, has been vacated, of course. He never put. Uh, no, Nero never put it down the bag. He took, he took it off, took one out, and then tossed it. He never put it down. He said, by the way, I'll be taking the rest of the crystals. Including the ones you want you got us from me took from the mansion earlier? No. The crystals from the first place you can keep. Alright. Just the ones from over at uh that old castle that I used to be associated with. Alright, so Nero takes his backpack, offers all of the assorted crystals. Okay. But, ex but there's two he does not offer. But he acts like he's done handing them. All right. He takes them and starts heading back up to his room. Okay. So Nero is keeping the ruby one and one of the assorted crystals that he had in his pouch. Okay. And he heads to his room. Okay. 